Once the United States established a dominant presence in Panama, financial factors continued drawing the country deeper into Latin American affairs. During the late 1800s, many Latin American countries borrowed large sums of money from banks in Europe to develop industries and build railroads. When it became clear that many Latin American nations would be unable to repay these loans, President Theodore Roosevelt feared that the European powers might begin to intervene in the Americas in order to collect their debts. Roosevelt was determined to make sure that this did not happen. Roosevelt made it clear to Europe that he intended to enforce the Monroe Doctrine. This 1823 declaration by President James Monroe had demanded that European countries stay out of the Americas. To clarify his stance on the issue, President Roosevelt borrowed from a West African proverb that stated, Speak softly and carry a big stick. His enforcement of this policy became known as Big Stick Diplomacy. Using the Monroe Doctrine as a basis, Roosevelt issued his Roosevelt Corollary to Congress in 1904. He argued that unrest and disorder in Latin America could force the U.S. to exercise an international police power. Roosevelt described this style of foreign policy as taking decisive action sufficiently far in advance of any likely crisis. In other words, having and showcasing a powerful military could act as a deterrent, thus being a useful way to ensure peace in the Western Hemisphere. In a display of American military might, Roosevelt sent the U.S. Navy's Great White Fleet on a circumnavigation of the world in the final two years of his presidency. During the decade that followed the issuing of the Roosevelt Corollary, the policy was carried out on several occasions. William Howard Taft, Roosevelt's successor, arranged for American bankers to help the Central American nation of Nicaragua to repay their loans in 1911. In exchange, U.S. bankers gained control of Nicaragua's railroad and banking system. 2,000 U.S. Marines were also sent to Nicaragua to put down a revolt of the citizens who opposed their government's actions. American troops remained in Nicaragua until 1933. Citing Nicaragua as an example of success, the Taft administration would continue the policy of allowing the U.S. government to back up loans from American banks to nations in Latin America. The policy became known as dollar diplomacy, and it provided yet another effective way of keeping European powers out of Latin America and the Caribbean. The Roosevelt Corollary gave the United States a basis to use force to protect their economic interest anywhere in the Americas, while dollar diplomacy further tied the interest of the U.S. economy to its neighbors in the Western Hemisphere.